welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Mason and today we're doing a walk around video of this 2017 GLS Black Edition Triton. Now, as you can see it is a special car. Taking a look at the front it does have a li nice little features compared to the, your standard GLS. It does come with this really nice black gloss uh, front grille with the really nice Mitsubishi badging right in the middle there. Obviously got to represent the brand. It does come with a really nice black nudge bar in the front as well with the fog lights fitted in the front grill, front bar. And taking a look at the headlights um, it does come with projector globes uh, fitted in the headlights. It gives a really good dispersion of light in the nighttime with the indicator fitted just under there and these really nice daytime running lights just above here obviously improves the visibility of the car during the day and gives it a nice aggressive but yet a classy look to the car. As you can see the car is fitted with a tinted a genuine Mitsubishi tinted bonnet protector. Coming across the side, being the black edition, it does get fitted with these black uh, flares as well. That gives a really nice little characteristic to the actual car. It does have these black 17 inch alloys and brand new tires as well fitted to this particular car. Coming across the side, we do get the color match uh, side mirrors and door handles. Now the side mirrors do have the indicator also fitted into the side mirror. The advantage of that is obviously it clears up your side panel and gives really good visibility for the indicator for the people that might be on the side of you and behind you. One other thing the Black Edition comes with as well is a black um, step here just to get into the car. Obviously being a four wheel drive it does help to have that little um, step to climb in. Coming across the side. One thing I will note is that the car does not have tint on it. It does have privacy glass in the back. Now that's just a dyed glass. It doesn't actually offer any UV protection for the driver or the passengers. So I will recommend you do speak to us about our tint options that we provide here as well. Now taking a look inside the cabin on uh, the driver's side, the car does present in very good condition. No major wear or scuffs or any tears on the seat and the bolsters are in very good condition. Carpets obviously quite clean and no scuffing or anything on the bottom here. It does have a scuff plate but paint's obviously in very good condition. Now looking at the door where people can get lazy and kick the door open, there's no, any, no marks here or any damage. So the own, previous owners has obviously looked after the car quite well. As we come across to the side, now being a dual cab with a tray, it, does, it is fitted with a sports bar as well. Adds that extra stability and um, obviously a nice, nice little touch to the actual car. Again, you got your rear flares, your back uh, black flares and coming to the second alloy, no major marks or any actual damage to the actual rims. So very good condition and tires have plenty of tread. Now I'll come across to the back. Now being a black edition, it is fitted with this black gloss rear bar with the tow bar fitted in there as well so in case you did need the extra towing capacity you've got that um, already attached to the car. Um, just on the side here you've got your brake lights as well as your reverse lights and a really nice high mounted brake light as well for everyone behind you. Um, it does have a rear view camera, uh, reverse camera fitted to the uh, just to the right side of the um, handle. Now the advantage of that is it does give an extra clearance to the back left of the car where most drivers actually struggle when reverse parking. Right there the camera just cut out but taking a look at the back it obviously is fitted with a soft tonneau cover as well and you can just pop the trunk open and inside it is fitted with the tub liner so you know the previous owner actually did really care about his car and the paintwork on it so he's looked after it quite well and you've got your regular floor mats as well as your rubber floor mats as well in case you do need it for those days where you are going to work and just want to protect the inside of your car. Being the GLS it does have carpet on the inside not vinyl so the advantage of the rubber mats uh, is to keep your car clean and easy to clean as well. Coming across to the third alloy uh, again very good condition no marks or scratches on the actual paintwork of the rim so being looked after really well and plenty of tread there. One thing I will note is the fuel cap is on the safe side of the car, so the passenger side. So in case you do get stuck on the side of the road, you know you're safe from any oncoming traffic. Coming across the side, again, car does present really well. Paint works in immaculate condition. There's no major marks or scratches or stone chips across the side of the car. So it has been looked after quite well. And coming to the last fourth alloy. Again, very good condition, no marks or scuffs or scratches or stone chips, so the paint does present really well and you got brand new tyres on the front there as well. Like I said guys, the car's in very good condition, so I would recommend you speak to us about the options to protect this investment. And now we'll just take a look at the engine bay. Taking a look inside the engine bay of this Black Edition Triton, you, it is fitted with the 4 cylinder 2.4 litre turbo diesel motor and it does have a 5 speed automatic gearbox as well. This car has a 5 star ANCAP rating with 7 airbags so plenty of safety features in the car. 
Uh, the motor produces a power output of 133 kilowatts with 430 newton meters torque, so plenty of power when you are towing or have a heavy payload. Uh, this car does have a 75 litre diesel fuel tank uh, with a combined fuel consumption of 7.6 litres per 100 kilometres, producing a fuel average distance of 987 kilometres off a full tank. We're going to look inside the Triton. Now, starting off at the driver's side door, it is a really nice vinyl door. Being a work car, obviously, you want something that's quite practical and not going to get damaged quite easily, so it is a very hardy door. Um, just under here, though, you have a really nice trim uh, with the black gloss and this chrome finish. Um, it does come with four, uh, your driver's side automatic window and four manual uh, power windows here as well. Now, just in front of that is the lock button for your actual power windows. Taking a look at the right side of the steering wheel here, you've got your side, your power mirror settings as well to control um, and adjust your angles, as well as a little button to tuck them in. Now, the car, when the car is actually locked, those side mirrors tuck in as well, so little advantage if you're parked on the side of the road. On the right-hand stock, we have our headlight and fog light settings, as well as your high beam and indicators. On the left-hand side is your uh, washers and wiper settings as well. Uh, now taking a look at the steering wheel, it is a really nice leather stitch steering wheel. Very comfortable to hold, a nice sporty look as well. Uh, just on the right side is your cruise control settings with your speed limiter and your rest and cancel and on and off button for your cruise control. On the right hand side, on the left hand side is your source and your media options. Flick through your different uh, channels as well as your power, uh, your volume, sorry, just over here. Under that is your Bluetooth connectivity for your voice control with your answer and reject option as well. Now taking a look inside the actual cluster is a little button to flick through the different settings in there. Now that does display your fuel distance, your trips as well and um, a little thing for your temperature as well. Taking a look at the center console, we do have updated head unit that does come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well as digital radio, AM and FM as well as your USB input and uh, music audio options. You can just flick through it, it does give a few other options there for your clock settings and day and night. Um, now, if you did obviously go through with the purchase of this car, we'd love to set up your Android Auto Apple CarPlay for you as well. So please ask us about that. Just under that is uh, hard buttons for uh, air conditioning system. It is a dual, uh, dual climate control system as well. So the passenger and driver can have their own different settings. And you've got the hard button for your fan speed and your AC just under that. Uh, under here is your little indication for your seat belts with your hazard lights um, as well. And under that is a little switch for your rear diff lock and a little USB port for charging your phone, as well as a little 12 volt charger as well, um, socket for any charging, extra charging. Under that, we have um, a HDMI and a USB system fitted as well. So again, extra, extra um, options for any charging and stuff as well. Now coming over to the gearbox, as you can see, it is fitted with a rear view, uh, a reverse camera as well, with a little indication line to show where your rear bar is as well. If you are towing, you can, um, Lined it up pretty nicely. Coming across down to drive, it does. It is a um, sports shifter gearbox as well, so you can just shift through your gears manually if you did want to, or just switch, switch over to drive, and the car will just do that all for you. Coming on in that is Mitsubishi Signature Super Select four-wheel drive system. Now you can just switch between two high, four high, and your four-wheel drive settings, um, going up to 100 kilometers as well. So really nice system by Mitsubishi. Under that is your manual handbrake, as well as a little ashtray. Um, which has never been used and hopefully never gets used and you've got two little cup holders here as well. Taking a look in the armrest, you've got a little bit of storage here for any keys or spare change that you might want to keep and plenty of storage underneath for any uh, extra stuff as well as a little 12 volt socket there as well. So plenty of little ports in here for all the passengers in the car. Now I'll just get the drivers, uh, the camera guy to pan around the car just to show you the condition of the interior. Uh, thank you for watching the walk around video of this 2017 GLS Triton Black Edition. 
Um, now, if you did have any questions on the car or wanted to test drive, the number to dial is 9907055. Now, just before I go, a few things I'd like to talk to you about. This car does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. Now, that offers five years extended protection up to 200,000 kilometers. It comes with 10 years roadside assistance as well as unlimited claims up to $3,600. Um, another thing is the glass coat and tin option packages that we offer here as well. Now, these are at an additional cost, but if you are using our in-house finance, I'd love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mark who showed just how minimal these will affect your repayments. And lastly, please check out our Google reviews. With over a thousand reviews sitting at 4.8 stars, you know you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business. Again, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Nathan and thank you for watching.